is the Canon 100mm f2.8 macro lens and today we're going to use this. Now I haven't been using this lens too much which is sad because it's a really nice lens which opens up a new world of possibilities when you go macro. Um, I don't know why I haven't used this I just haven't got around to it basically but today let's change that. I have two additional things with this lens that will make it go even deeper in and that is this one the Canon EF25 extension tube but I got two so let's use this together with macro 100 shall we for those of you that are as confused as I was or maybe even am a little bit about macro photography this lens is a one-to-one -one lens one-to-one -one means that if you photograph something that is one centimeter high it's going to take one centimeter of your sensor so my sensor size is basically three centimeters by two and a half centimeters roughly i don't remember the exact numbers but that means that with this lens if I photograph something that is one centimeter across, it's going to take roughly the half of the sensor if I photograph in landscape mode. And with these extension tubes, the 25 here means that it is two and a half centimeters wide. So basically this zoom is one and this is 0 0.25. So together there are 1.25 and using two I will get 50 here so this one will become 1.5 so instead of having a one to one lens I will have a one to one and a half lens so that means that in the analogy of one centimeter across something real being one centimeter across and will project a one centimeter image on the sensor with the extension tubes I'm gonna project something that is 0 0.6666 onto the one centimeter on the sensor. Meaning I can photograph something smaller, I will go get deeper, I will have bigger magnification. So as you might have noticed, I am not in my usual place. I am out on vacation and uh, there are plenty of wildlife and insects and flowers here but it's midday or it's early day so the insects have all awakened and are buzzing around here so i can't photograph an insect unless i want to kill it and place it with a needle and i don't want that so uh, let's just take a small walk around the area here and find something that are is suitable to photograph with these macro lenses shall we Okay, I am now indoors and for those of you that noticed I have changed my clothes as well. I am finished setting this up now. So as you can see there is fairly small distance between the subject, the flower and this macro lens with the extension tubes. 
Uh, the problem with this setup now is that I am getting an incredible shallow depth of field, meaning that only a small, 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 small portion of the flower will be in focus. And to get around this problem is by doing focus stacking, meaning that you take a bunch of images on different focus planes, where, where you put the focus on different planes and then you stack them together in post-process, giving a focus to the entire image at the end. But for this particular image, I'm not going to do any focus stacking. I'm just going to choose the best focus that I find most attractive or most suitable for this composition. And uh, let's see how we do. Now, I can't really just take the photo because I'm gonna need a longer exposure time. So what I need to do is to set this to a five second timer, meaning that I, when I press the button, it's going to take five seconds before the image is taken. So all the shaking in the body after my pressing the button has disappeared. So I, I'm ready to take the photo now and uh, I am set to F11 ISO 100 giving me 1.3 seconds of exposure and I'm taking the image now. I am pretty, I'm pleased with the composition and I'm carefully setting it. Nice. So the image is taken and that's what you get with the Canon 100mm and two extension tubes creating a magnification of one and a half with this setup and this small flower. I hope you have enjoyed this video, I really love this lens and I'm going to use it a lot more in the future. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you want to see more of me, don't forget to subscribe. If you like this content and found it helpful or interesting, do give it a like. And as usual, hit me up with a comment and I'll see you next time. Right, bye bye.